Hey everyone, this is a Tactorig project update. Multi-touch for character rig positioning. This tool currently operates within Blender using the standard Rigify armature and a 24 inch 10 point multi-touch monitor as input. Output is intended for the Unreal Engine. The Tactorig project was initiated to assist in building animations. It quickly demonstrated potential for live animation. Here, the spine cord is manipulated, which controls five different torso elements in conjunction, pelvis, hips, lower torso, chest, and shoulders. Each element in the chain can be tuned by varying amounts of positive or counter rotation in each of three axes, controlled by a single slider or a 2D pad. A cord slider drives all of the elements together. Here, the armature's hands are locked to the vehicle's control arms. Each slider controls the pitch, yaw, and roll actions, and the pads give combination control. Magnitudes of each axis movement can be globally controlled by the vertical sliders. The right side of the UI offers magnitude control, with each axis X, Y, and Z being able to be locked at the desired position. Locking in the pitch allows the pad interfaces to maneuver only the character's torso, yaw, and roll. UI elements can be cut and pasted so that chordal combinations can be built. In this case, vehicle control arm steering and torso can be manipulated at the same time. Everything can be fluidly adjusted in real time. For example, the tuning of elbow and knee positions are direct and intuitive. The UI design includes control over individual aspects as well as combined chords. Today specifically, we're gonna be looking at the hand rigging, which we've made a lot of progress on this week. Here, relocating initially the hand position above the vehicle for visibility. The blue UI widgets control the left side of the model, the orange widgets control the right side. The model has been color coded to match. Individual digit control, index, middle, ring, and pinky. Naturally, finger positions can also be moved in combination. The adduction, abduction, or splay, flexion, and limited roll can be controlled for each finger or composed by groups using the top set of sliders. Using the grasp slider, the digits of the hand can be shaped together, either right or left or simultaneously adjusting both hands at once. The middle slider controls a set of variations in the grasp, a pinching grip and a claw-like retraction, or normal grip and retraction. The thumb can be adjusted independently as well as any of the fingers. Now we can lock in the position of the fingers, locking the ring and pinky fingers, limiting the grasp action only to these three digits. Locking and unlocking allows for fast positioning. Using music as an analogy, these combinations of bone movement are thought of as chords instead of individual notes. To combine chords and be able to simultaneously manipulate a variety of them. At any point during the animation process, the conventional rig can be switched on or off and positioned as normal. Thank you and we appreciate your feedback.